Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa Conrad and I'm a doctor of physical therapy and therapeutic pain specialist and I am the vagus nerve PT. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of articles that I read uh, researching the effectiveness of vagus nerve stimulation in the treatment of fibromyalgia. So there were a couple of really interesting articles I saw. One was on um, using transcutaneous non-invasive vagus nerve stimulation, so meaning through the skin. Um, and in this study, they had 18 patients with fibromyalgia perform 30 minutes of stimulation five days per week, and they performed a follow-up at two and four weeks. At two weeks, they were already seeing a reduction in what's called the widespread pain score. So this is um, an assessment that determines the level of pain that the individual has over, overall throughout their bodies. And they saw that further improved at the four-week follow-up. And also at the four-week follow-up, they saw um, overall reduction in pain, improved function, and improved sleep. Another study that I looked at was looking at the efficacy of the surgically implanted device for the treatment of fibromyalgia. So the surgically implanted devices for vagus nerve stimulation are not currently FDA approved for the treatment of fibromyalgia. However, this research article wanted to see um, what results they would get. So in this study, 12 patients completed the, the study. At three months, five of the patients were at what they call therapeutic efficacy, which uh, was assessed as a measure um, requiring improvement in pain, overall wellness, and physical function. Two of those five patients no longer met the widespread pain or tenderness criteria for diagnosing fibromyalgia. So the widespread pain um, or tenderness criteria is uh, a way that um, a practitioner assesses whether or not a person has fibromyalgia and it involves um, pressure points um, throughout the body. Um, and so two of those five patients at three months after getting the surgically implanted device no longer met those criteria for being diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Um, and what they found was that the therapeutic effect increased over time because additional patients um, met the criteria for therapeutic efficacy uh, at the 11 month follow-up after the surgically implanted device was placed. So some really cool research on vagus nerve stimulation as it relates to fibromyalgia. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please uh, comment and let me know what other conditions um, you would like me to take a look at what the research says about vagus nerve stimulation. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.